Hey there, John from Paper Trails here. In this video, I'm going to show you how your employees can activate their account and show you a little navigation around the iSolve People Cloud app or myhrstuff.com. Once you activate your employee in the iSolve system, that'll fire off an activation email to the account that you put in the self-service box under the employee general screen. Here, you can see the email that the employee will receive. Then go ahead and open that email and click this link to begin setting up their account. Here, they'll fill in their first and last name. It's important that they put a mobile number in here so they can get their two-factor authentication codes. They'll set up a password with the password requirements, and then they'll choose a security question. Make sure you let them know to remember the answer to their security question in case they have issues logging in later on. Now that their account is confirmed, they'll receive another email in the original email address to go ahead and confirm their account. You can see back in the email, they received it from the iSolve People Cloud. Go ahead and click that and tell them to click this link. They'll have to type in the verification code that they received to their mobile number, and now their account is verified. If your employees ever encounter this screen that asks them to select a tenant of iSolve, Always have them click the PTRLS option as this is Paper Trail's instance of ISOL. When they arrive at the ISOL People Cloud login screen, they'll go ahead and enter the username. The username is always going to be their email address. I'm showing you a web version here. So to log into the ISOL People Cloud on the web, have them visit papertrails.com. Once at papertrails.com, they can click the login button and under for employees, click ISOL. Another way for them to log in is to visit myhrstuff.com. Have them write myhrstuff.com in the address bar. To log in, enter the username and password. The username is always going to be your email address. Then we'll go ahead and ask for a security code to be sent to us to our mobile device. Once we receive that code, we'll type it in the box and hit submit. Now this is another important screen. You can have your employees log in without a password by setting up an other passwordless key, such as a PIN, Face ID, and other options. Here, I'm gonna set up a PIN. This will make it much easier to log in every time we need to log in. Now that we're logged in, let's go ahead and read through the agreement. Once we've read through it, we can hit I accept. And this is what your MyHR stuff or ISOL People Cloud home screen will look like. Here, your employees can see their time in attendance, their payroll and tax, any personal information, any benefit information, and much more. If they need help, they can click that green box right there and it'll bring them to papertrails.com slash help for more. We have the employee marketplace as well, and then our social icons at the bottom. Let's say we want to set up a direct deposit. Go ahead and click direct deposits and hit add new. Now we'll type in the routing number and the account number of our bank account. We'll select if it's a checking, savings, or other. And if we want, we can put a description in this box here. Next, we can choose if we want to enter a flat dollar amount, a percentage of our pay, or the remaining net. And in this instance, I'll hit remaining net. Now we can see it's active here. Let's go ahead and add a second one. This time, we're going to put in the routing and account number. And this one is going to be a savings account. In this instance, we're gonna to wanna to hit a flat dollar amount and I'm gonna type in $100. So what will happen is $100 will go in every pay to this account and then the remaining net will go into our previously set up checking account. You can see both boxes here. I can toggle this active button if I wanna active or deactivate an option. And I can hit the three little dots in the top right to edit or delete the details of this bank account. In the left menu bar, we can hit pay and tax, or we can change it in the top menu bar as well. Let's look at our pay history. Here we can say our last paycheck was dated July 28, 2023. We can see our net pay, our gross pay, employee details, employee earnings, taxes, and much more. If we want to download our pay stub, just hit this button here and click OK. Now that that pay stub is downloaded, we can go ahead and open it so we can get our full pay stub here. This is how you view and download and print your pay stubs in the My HR Stuff or the ISOL People Cloud app. Clicking the year on tax forms, we'd be able to see any W-2 forms if they're here. In this case, we do not have any. 
By clicking Personal and Form I-9, we can add or see any I-9 forms in the system. We can see any messages in the Employee Messages box, and then we can see our personal information here. We can edit our general information if we wish. We can click on the left to edit our address. We can edit our contact information. We can see our federal reporting and much more. Under Benefits, we can go ahead and hit My Benefits, and you'll see all your benefit selections here. If you're using ISOL Benefits Administration, open enrollment can be done on this screen as well. Here we can see our 401k, we can see our basic life, and much more. We can also see if we've waived any benefits. In this situation, it looks like we have waived our dental insurance. If you're using ISOL Expense Management, this will be the screen where you can upload details and images of certain expenses to get reimbursed into payroll. Let's look at our time and attendance. Under my calendar, you can see any absences, any scheduled absences, any holidays, or anything on this calendar here. Next, we can click on our time card and see our time card for the pay period, the week, or the day. If you click into the time entry, you can drill into more details to see when you clocked in and out, to see your meals and your breaks, etc. You can also look at your time off on this screen here. If we're looking to submit a time off request, hit the time off button in the top, select your policy, add in your dates and your hours that you're looking to request off, put in any notes you wish, and hit submit. That'll fire off an alert to your direct manager so they can either approve or deny this time off request. Once they make their approval or denial, you will get a notification. An employee works for multiple companies that use paper trails as their payroll provider. By clicking the bell icon, they'll see an option here to switch companies. They'll have the same login for both companies and then they can toggle back and forth on this screen here. Now let's log out. I'll show you how to log in with the pin that we previously set up earlier in this video. Clicking the little contact icon with the key allows us to type in that pin as we set up prior instead of having to type in the password every time. Let's say an employee forgot their password. I'll log out again, put in our username, hit next. The only way to reset the password is to hit this forgot my password button. Type in the username, again the username is always the email address, and hit reset password. This will then fire off an email to the employee's email account to reset their My HR Stuff or ISOL People Cloud password. Click on the email and click this link. They'll get a verification code sent to their mobile device and they can put that in here. Now they'll re enter a new password following the password requirements listed on the screen here. Then they can choose a security question and an answer and hit the reset account blue button at the bottom. That'll reset their account and they should have. No issues logging in anymore. Now, for help logging in or for help navigating ISOL People Cloud or MyHRStuff.com, you can visit papertrails.com slash help. Here, there are guides, how-tos, videos, posters, things like that to show you how to log in, how to reset your password, how to download the app to your phone, and much, much more. We also made this little iSolved Help Cloud that you can access and print off here. By clicking into any question, it'll bring up more detail to answer that question and help you reset your password, log in, navigate iSolved, and much more. This is a great resource center for your employees to get help if they have issues logging in to iSolved. Always have them check here first for help before they reach out for additional assistance. Other resources we have are self-service management tools. There's a lot of duplicate information here as there is on papertrails.com slash help. But if you scroll to the bottom, it digs in a little bit more on how to use a system instead of just how to log in. It shows you how to view your time card, request time off, shows you how to change direct deposit, download the app, download your W-2, submit expense reimbursements, and much more. So there you have it. That's some basic login, activation, and help for your employees with the ISOL People Cloud app or with myhrstuff.com. Again, make sure they're logging into the correct site.
they can download the I Saw People Cloud app in the Apple or Android app stores, or they can visit myhrstuff.com. If anyone needs support, have them click the resources, support, and contact us tab, and they can fill out this form and a member of our team will be in touch to help. Thanks for watching this video and welcome to Paper Trails. Thank you.